Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Delaware Park here on a Thursday. It is the 7th of July, 2022. Going to look at the 7th race from Delaware, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5 for more selections for race courses around the world, and I mean it around the world. Uh, the 7th race from Delaware, it's the Sussex Stakes. It's going for a purse $50,000. Races for Delaware bred are certified 3-year-olds and upwards. We have a field of 11 horses entered. Keep in mind the 5 horses at MTO, so 10 can go to the turf course. The distance of ground of 1,500 meters, or the distance of ground of seven and one half furlongs on the Delaware main track. It's gonna be turf course, 1500 meters, seven and one half furlongs, turf course here in the Sussex. My top selection, I'm gonna go take the number eight horse, the eight horse who is Indian Lake. Let's go eight, four, 10, 11 in the Superfecta. Eight, four, 10, 11 super, top selection, eight horse, Indian Lake. This uh, four year old gentleman by Daredevil. Jamie Nash trains one, gets Rodriguez up in the saddle. The horse's most recent out came 9th of June at Delaware, one mile off the turf, an optional 50 claimer. And the horse been second by one quarter lengths that day. And he just stalked all the way around the race course and just couldn't catch the winner, Scar, who just had the jump on him. He definitely improved off the race before, but I think coming back to turf where he could set some good fractions here today on the front end, I think he could really run a good race. I think from a wide poster, he'll probably go to the front end. Two back from a Del uh, here at Delaware, Woman Holland in a lounge race, 50,000. He finished six by 12 lengths. He stalked a, you know, a little bit of a quick pace that day, which caused him. He just couldn't keep up late. Might need the run there off the bench. And then Laurel, mile 16th, an option 50, 50 claimer. The horse finished second by one quarter lengths. You know, sat on the front end. Again, way wicked fast, fast fractions off the bench. Need the race. You know, just, you know, he has to slow it down there. Um, this horse hasn't started on the turf since the Acaro plays at Belmont, seven furlongs on the 22nd of October, where the horse finished eighth by six and a quarter lengths that day, and he just could keep up with those slightly better horses in that spot. But his race is before that on the turf. He actually won the Baldy Will Derby at Pimlico in July last year, uh, finished third in this race last year, where he just had a little bit of a bad trip, and then finished sixth in the Virginia Derby, where he just fat, he set way too fast fractions in that run. But he's training well. I'm going to give him a shot here at three to one. I think he has to also give a shot to the four horse cannons roar. Charlie Marquez is on this one. Most recent, the fine sticks a few weeks ago. Laurel over the mile 16th. He finished six by six and three quarter lengths. Had a little bit of a tr tr tough trip. And also, I do think he needed the race off the bench. Coming here second off the bench, back to Delaware, where he ran a two very good races on the turf course last season. I'll give him a shot here today. But to recap my selection for the seven from Delaware, it's the Sussex Stakes. Let's take the eight horse Indian Lake. Give kudos to the four horse Cannons Roar. Eight, four, ten, eleven super. Let's go eight, four in your multi race. So good luck to all. Please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5. Good luck, everybody.